Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Since it is October and also known as Vlogtober, I decided to do a DIY video about me and Savannah's Halloween costume. So she's going to be Sky from Paw Patrol and I'm going to be Buffy the Vampire Slayer. All of these items were thrifted um, except for the felt material which I found at Walmart actually in the clearance rack so it was only like a dollar I think which was pretty good, pretty cheap. So these are DIY Halloween costumes on a budget and I'll show you last year's uh, costume. She was, we were like Alice in Wonderland themed. But we were evil. If you are not familiar, there is a character called Mad Alice. It's actually a video game. And it's just a different take on Alice in Wonderland. Uh, it's very like spooky, creepy. So we were based off of that. Um, and I thought it was really cute because you know, she's a kid, but it is nice to have her look a little scary. <laughs> and this year is more like, I don't know, I guess for being individual things, not like a family costume. I'm not sure what Dan's even going to be yet, but I've been rewatching Buffy, as I said before in my previous video, I'm obsessed with the 90s. I wish I could go back and live there now. So <laughs> I've been rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Literally, I just rewatch shows that bring me nostalgia. <laughs> and also music, same thing. So, right now she is napping and I'm going to try and finish her costume. Start on my own. We'll see how far I get. But yeah, let's get into it. And we're back.
update this glue by this glue. Terrible. Now I have to sew. I have to sew this on. <gasps> no, 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 no. Finished product. Ben, you want to try this on? What are you looking for? Want to try it out? <laughs> okay, so I finished the costume last night, but I was too tired to like finish the vlog. But this is my Buffy the Vampire Slayer cheerleader uniform costume for Halloween. Obviously this thing looks crazy and it's not actually on right, but I think I'll probably try and put it in high ponytail like she does in the show. When so she's in trial. Or I think she needs to whatever. But you know, I'm just gonna talk all this. So this is the costume and so basically I got a yellow sweater and I think I painted this on with markers and like fabric markers. This is our school, Sunnydale school logo, and then I got, I painted the bottom trim of the skirt. I actually cut it because it was a little bit longer, probably like to my knees, a little bit um, over my knees. So yeah, I think I'll just throw on some Converse because I think she just wears like regular sneakers. So yeah, <laughs> weeks from eBay. I got it a while ago, and it just, it definitely does not look real. So it's gonna be part of my costume. And I actually got this from Comic-Con, like, years ago. Um, let's see. Check it out. Okay, so it's this is a Sunny Day School ID. It's pretty funny. I was obsessed with Buffy for a long time, so I got that. And I actually have this one, too. I'm trying to decide which one. I feel like the school ID is, like, less, you know, more obvious as on the costume of Buffy. I made this state out of cardboard, but it looks not great. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to actually do is, um, I think what I'm going to do is take one of the garden stakes that we have in our front, uh, basically, you know, those like uh, solar light stake things, and paint that to look more realistic, like a wind stake. Um, if not, maybe I'll try to find like a large cross or something. Apparently in the show, pointing a cross at a vampire makes them go, oh. <laughs> So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments below. I know this wig looks crazy. <laughs> I try to go veins. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have to like alter this because her, she has bangs kind of in the show. Um, but basically it's gonna be like in a high ponytail. I just have to like secure it to my head. Obviously, hopefully it won't look too crazy, but again, it's Halloween, so who cares really, right? Yeah, it's pretty long wig. I'll review this wig in another video because there's quite the story there. Yeah, so I think it came out pretty cool. Looks great. I don't know if I want to get pom- I'm not going to buy pom-poms. Maybe I'll find, try and find like some old red and yellow t-shirts. And like tie them together and look a little pom pom. Cause I looked up online and they're like, like over ten dollars. So not worth it for one day. I mean, looks fine without that pom pom. I think a few more people would know more who I was if I had a wooden stake or a cross, more so than pom poms. Cause then I feel like I'm just thinking like some weird junior. As always, thank you guys for watching and supporting. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because there's a lot more fun to come in October. A lot of fall festivities, home decor, etc.